say to you is put yourself in the position of that president. Imagine if you had run on a campaign that you deeply believe in of keeping down the corporatocracy, of using your country's resources to help your people, and you're voted in. And somebody walks into your office and says, remember what happened to Arbenz of Guatemala? Remember what happened to Allende of Chile? Remember what happened to Roldos? Remember what happened to Lumumba in the Congo? Remember what happened to Diem in Vietnam? Remember what happened to Torrijos? Remember what happened to Nor Noriega? Remember, 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 they get the message. What would you do if you'd just been elected president of one of these countries and someone walks into your office and gives you this ultimatum, here's a lot of money for you and your family, or we can throw you out of office. And you know damn well that if you get thrown out of office or assassinated, the next guy's going to be scared shitless. What's he going to do? So what are you going to do when that happens? In the case of Ecuador, Gutierrez was elected president. He ran on a very strong anti-oil campaign, anti-corporatocracy campaign, and uh, I was there at the time, and he won with a pretty good majority on this anti-corporatocracy platform. He was visited by one of these men, and uh, within a month he was in Washington, D.C., and when he came back, people were plastering pictures up all over the walls of Quito and Guayaquil, pictures of Gutierrez holding hands with George Bush. George likes to hold hands with a lot of men, have you noticed that? <laughs> and he began to cut real sweet deals with the oil companies, and he began to implement the conditionalities that the IMF and the World Bank wanted him to propose upon his people. The people took to the streets. They were infuriated. They had elected this guy and he's gone against his campaign promises and they kicked him out. <laughs> he had to flee to Brazil. Now my phone was ringing off the hook that day. My Ecuadorian friends were calling me and saying, you know, in a democratic country like Ecuador, when you vote a man in who runs on a certain campaign platform and he doesn't keep it, he goes against everything he ran on, democracy demands that you throw him out of office. <laughs> Why don't you guys do the same thing? That is more than a drum, that is more than a drum.